All right, Ryan, come over here, back here. I don't know what's going on. Chief O'Neill. Kind of get an idea of what's going on down here still. And they pretty much got under control. Chief O'Neill's getting interviewed right now. We're going to see if we can talk to him once he's done. said he's talked to right now we're gonna see if we can grab him real quick for a quick interview in here I'm going to wait for a second see if we can get a chance to talk to Butler City Fire Chief O'Neill. Um, he's going to have, probably have some more info of what's happening and what what went on here. I can see here guys. I know Butler Hot Dog Shop got some hot dogs down here for these guys. And, I mean there's been people dropping off water and coffee and donuts and I mean it's been a pretty good, you know, it's, one thing about this community is it sticks together and when there's trouble, they kind of rush to, they kind of rush to help for sure. Just kind of waiting around here. I'm hoping we can talk to Chief O'Neill here for a second. Doesn't appear that anybody got hurt, no. Yeah, so the uh, Chief O'Neill's the uh, police chief, I guess. working on this thing up here.
What all was impacted? What all? What all? Was all three buildings? Three the main fire building was the Cersei building. That building was a total loss of fire damage. We were able to keep the fire contained to that building with this minor extension of the fire into uh, the Edward Jones building. But there is smoke damage and water damage in the Edward Jones building as well as the reclamation All the way down to Miller's, they said, too. I mean, yeah, Miller's is fine, but um, from there down, Miller's is fine. Describe the response for me. Amazing. The fire went to four alarms. Got here initially and saw how it was starting to extend throughout the Edward Jones building and the amount of extension coming all the way up to the end of the we immediately but then I'd have to look at the time and uh, in short order three alarms right away and there was a special call and some additional ladder trucks in and to be very aggressive with uh, roof ventilation. Yeah. Um, we were very aggressive in cutting the roof open that way it kept the fire spread vertical and prevented it from running. How challenging of a fire was it? Uh, challenging because there was a lot of void space in the building. Fire was in between the doors, uh, in behind walls, and in off off the void space in the working area. So it was difficult to access, gain access to all those points that took a long time to get the fire in. Where do you go from here and what do you know as far as the cause? Uh, State, fire, uh, State Police Fire Marshal has been called in to assist in the fire investigation. Uh, so the fire cause investigation is ongoing as far as rapidly. So it would be a while for the cause determined. Uh, and as far as the building, we'll have to assess the structure of the so Like I said, the first duty building is a uh, how, how long do you think you'll be here today? And you, are you concerned about structure as far as your guys are obviously up there? Yeah, we're going to assess it. It seems like it's, we, we got the unsafe part today. And we'll probably have it marked off and, um, for with caution to keep people away from that. We're going to be on the team uh, in additional time. At least the city crews will be here for, uh, for at least a couple more hours. I uh, just want to raise the box box. Last question, how fast did it spread? Uh, it was spreading very quick. When I got here, it was probably, I was probably 15 minutes in the fall when I got here. Uh, the third alarm was just being struck at that point. And uh, there was uh, already a dead heavy smoke that was coming out of the forest. How about the reclamation building? You think it's okay? or? The reclamation building had uh, most of the water smoke damage. I got really good video from the top of that building right there, the way your guys work up there. So if there's anything that you need to review or want to look at, what, I got I got really good stuff of the way they worked up there. Yeah, I mean, if you could, um, you know, after everything settles down, yeah, right. Thanks, Chief. Appreciate it. Or on Monday or something, um, you could always call and swap up the station if you have anything that you can send us. Yeah. Because that always helps with the fire investigation as well to see what the. Uh, yeah, with the fire conditions were with video people had. I mean, I can't express this enough. An amazing job today. It's going to have been really, really bad for a lot more business than what it was. So, I mean, you guys got it done. Yeah, amazing job. Yeah, I mean, they were working hard. So, I appreciate it, Chief. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, so that's Ryan Covert, Top Shelf Butler News. Um, you know, talking with the Butler City Fire Chief, and I mean, these guys did these guys did an amazing job today containing this thing. I mean, I, you can see my footage earlier that's on the Top Shelf Butler News site. That I mean, this was uh, you know, this was a crazy blaze, and these guys were able to you know keep it confined within three buildings. It looks like there's going to be some water smoke damage at Miller's, but I mean, everything else. Everything else is okay, so uh, we appreciate the uh, appreciate the views. Thank you. If I find anything else here, I'll come back on live. I'm going to try to get an interview with um, the lady that owns the Butler Beauty School, but 
I'm not sure if I can find her or not. She's around here somewhere. So, thanks, guys. Top Show Butler News signing out.